Welcome back to Bling My Boat. I'm Chantel Herschel, your host. Today we're going to check in on Garrett and Brandon to see where they're at with modification number two. Hey Garrett. Wow, you're sneaky. I like to be quiet. So I'm here to check in on part number two with you. My mod two is an anchor tie. So in the front here, I made an anchor tie, anchor tie. You're just kind of gonna pull the line up and kind of do a figure eight with it. Okay. Flip it over and just the tension should keep it tight. Gotcha. And uh, I designed it in a way where it can, you kind of flip it over and you print it that way. So I designed it with 3D printing in mind. Gotcha. And I hear you've made more progress on your 3D print for your mod one. Oh yeah. Um, I have the same printer at home. So I did my prototype, it's over there, but yeah. um, this is the new one. So I just take it out here. A couple of things I wanted to change, wanted to do a little different insert and stuff on it and some additional fastening features. So yeah, yeah. this looks great though. I'm still going to argue for a million other colors. <laughs> Your anchor tie modification two. What are you feeling like? Who's got the better leg up on this design style here? Ooh, um, I think probably me still, cause I think, uh, you know, I did this design really quick and I'm working on my uh, surprise one here. Yeah. It's coming up. And uh, yeah, I was able to make it through this one pretty quickly and it's specifically designed for 3D printing. So. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go grab a kombucha and then I'm gonna go uh, talk to Brandon. So I'll check in with you next week to see the surprise mod and we'll do live voting. I hope you're ready. Are you ready for the competition? Oh, so ready. Yep. Okay, good. Let's go check in on Brandon. Last time we talked, you were a little behind. Vacation and all. Yep. Where are you at now? I am caught up. I've got all Ooh. my parts uh, designed up to this point. Okay. I need to get started still on 3D printing most of it, but as far as design work goes, it's looking good. Let's see what you got. So we started with the pole holder ideas, right? Mm -hmm. So that was, I'll catch you guys up to speed on that one. Um, what I wanted to do is a couple of options for okay. a rod holder. I'm gonna have one up front and there's a couple of cool things that I like about this. Mm -hmm. I went with like a ball mount design so I can have my rod holder up in front of me if I wanna use it mm -hmm. that way. But I could also like snap this on and off if I wanna oh. put other things on there, which may come into play for the uh, surprise mod. Ooh. We'll see how that goes. The other option that I wanted though, is if I'm gonna take a spare fishing rod with me, mm -hmm. I'd like to have storage behind me. So okay. my kayak actually has a little plug um, right in that location. So when I 3D scanned it, I was able to get that location in SolidWorks and design around it. So I got a nice little drop in there. I should be able to just, you know, drop a spare rod right in that chute. Be good to go. Awesome. Are you planning on doing any little sim analyses on some of this stuff to see what you got going on? Maybe on those, uh, what I'm assuming are anchor ties? Um, I've got a couple of ideas there actually. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the snap feature for that ball mount. So mm -hmm. I might do some simulation on that to see if it's actually gonna work well. Uh, the anchor ties, absolutely. If I'm gonna use those for towing or anything like that, um, which I may or may not do, just some ideas that I have, but I noticed probably... you have two anchor ties. I do, yeah. Tell me about that. So if I wanna dock on either side, or um, uh, I figure I could also maybe rig these up with a tow line. Okay. Um, distribute the weight a little bit even, a little bit more evenly if I'm gonna be Well, I do want you to front. pull me, oh, you're, you wanna be towed. I thought you were gonna tow me in a tube. I could do that too. And actually the, the placement on these, basically if I were to run the lines behind me, I think it'll go around my back and stuff, but. Well, I think it's looking really cool. Uh, Garrett's got some interesting stuff though. He's throwing out challenges saying your parts aren't ready to be 3D printed. Tell me about uh, that. You know what? I actually, even though I said I'm behind on the 3D printing, I did get started a little bit. Okay. It doesn't look like much, but um, when I was showing you the design for the spare rod holder, yeah, I got to thinking this thing is pretty long and mm -hmm. I designed this uh, mounting surface to fit in a specific location on the top of the kayak. Okay. But I was a little concerned that I've got this really tall thing. I want to make sure that it actually lines up where it's supposed to. Yeah. I can't do that easily without the mating surface. That makes sense. So what I did was use some of the SolidWorks surfacing tools. Yeah. And I just took the top section of that drop in. Mm -hmm. I copied it out as another body and 3D printed that. That's fun. And 
you know, no surprise, it fits perfectly. Okay. So I think I'm good to go there. What are you gonna, which printer did you print this one on? So that one was on the Sendo 3D Box 1. Okay, what do you think your final printer will be? Um, I think I can probably stick with the Sendo for that one. I really mm -hmm. don't need a whole lot of um, strength for that part or resolution capabilities. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be just fine with either PLA or ABS. Now Garrett only believes in black and red. What color are you going to go with? We can do some colorful stuff. Yeah. We'll see how it ends up, but I've got some ideas for incorporating the Form 3. Um, so depending on what we've got for colors, I might go a different route. What are you going to do for your anchor ties for printers? Um, those ones, I'm probably going to go with a Mark Forge printer because I might be a little bit concerned about strength depending on the simulations and how they end up. But I figure I can throw some fiber in them or Onyx does really well in general with just being strong by itself. True. It's really important, I think, that, you know, for examples like this, why you would have a multitude of 3D printers because it's good to have different applications for each one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like for this thing here, you know, a simple 40 minute print at a pretty low resolution uh, gives me a nice fit check. And if I want to improve quality, step up to another printer. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoy your kombucha. We're gonna check back in with you next week for the live event. And we are going to be showing that live on our YouTube page on July 31st. So don't miss out. You'll have the opportunity to vote on which modifications from either Garrett or Brandon that you like better. Can we eat yet? Garrett, have you been there the whole time? So guys, today I got us Republic Cat House. Have you ever eaten there? I have been there once. Okay, how'd you like it? Uh, food was great. I'm trying something new today. Exciting. Never even heard of it. I have the twice fried chicken sandwich and they've got two options. Okay. So this is the Korean style. And I went with the Southern style. So this one's got their uh, fried chicken breast and I can't remember what the kimchi option was. It was some kind of kimchi with a special seasoning maybe. I don't remember. Jalapenos. And then Chantel, you recommended the side. So it's like fried sweet potatoes. They got yeah. some cheese and maybe like a glaze on there. Well, let's get into it. Let's do it. The bun looks delicious. It's got, uh, I think there's honey in it. I do like that. I really should have looked more at the description of mine, but there's cabbage on it and like a really sweet mustardy sauce to be honest. Maybe some garlic in there. It's good. A little on the messy side. That's a 10 out of 10 side for me. Those are really good. You see the size of the chick patty in these though? It's like, <clears throat> It's good. That's a big good. Thing. Frying things once makes it good. Frying it twice, it makes it twice as good, right? So the double fried chicken sandwich, Korean style, definitely a thumbs up for me. And for the side, absolutely thumbs up. I could eat these all day. Yeah, and the chicken sandwich, southern style, was great also. Uh, big fan, thumbs up. Nice. So if you guys are in the neighborhood, Make sure you check out Republic Tap House right here in Post Falls. You'll find it right next to a bunch of other local restaurants down there. So. And if you guys have some ideas about where we should go next, make sure and leave us a comment down below.